In this webcast, we're going to take a look at how to recognize some acids and bases that you'll be using in solution, and also go over some of the facts and figures and numbers about pKa, pH, and acidity. Some things to look for when you're looking for an acid in solution is that an acid is one of two types, and those are type 1, shown here, and type 2, shown here. The type 1 acid has a hydrogen attached to some atom X, and that hydrogen uh, gets removed, and we're left with a negatively charged X, X minus as the conjugate base. So this proton could be on a neutral atom, or it could also be on a positively charged atom like we see in case two. These are the two types of acids that you can have. And there has to be a hydrogen atom that can donate for an acid, and oftentimes this most acidic hydrogen will be bound to some heteroatom, normally a nitrogen, an oxygen, a sulfur, or some halogen X, like a fluorine, chlorine, bromine, or an iodine. Those are the most typical acidic hydrogens. But there are some cases that we'll definitely discuss in which the acidic hydrogen is bound to carbon. But that does not occur as often as an acidic hydrogen attached to a heteroatom. So bases, similar to acids, are of two types, and they're the conjugates of the acid types we saw previously. The bases will either be negatively charged or neutral. And all of these bases must have a lone pair to accept this hydrogen. So for these acid-base reactions, that base frontier orbital is going to be an N.